Hello everybody, this is yours truly here, and today I'm actually going to be going over something that's... This topic, well, how do I put this? This topic in particular disturbs me for all the right and the wrong reasons, because this one actually... This actually gets under my skin a lot if you actually think about it, though. Just how crazy some people are willing to go for this, but... In case if you guys haven't heard of this entity... No, no, I'm just joking around with you. In case you guys haven't heard of this uh, weird user on TikTok who's been getting a lot of out of controversy over the past week, who goes by that vegan teacher, well, sit back and uh, crack open the root beer or some sorts, and uh, I'm about to tell you some stuff. Now let's cue that banging intro. So, let me just make this clear for everyone who's watching. I'm not intentionally going out on a limb to say that vegans are terrible people or anything like that, really. It's only this particular woman, in fact, who has given vegans and vegetarians alike a bad name in general. I actually do have a few friends who are vegan, if anything, and I've never seen them act crazy about it or anything else like that. But, back to the main point. This is the 56-year-old woman, aka that vegan teacher, and... It's weird what I'm about to cover, so strap in everybody, get yourself like a root beer, and uh, yeah, things are gonna go down. So the first instance I can remember when she started blowing up was when she made a strange song on TikTok about having McDonald's change their menu from burgers to plants. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of weird, but let's just watch it. Three, two, one, sing! Eating animals is wrong, McDonald's. Hurting animals is wrong, McDonald's. Share this song and change your entire menu to be vegan from now on. So, apart from the strangest ukulele solo that I've ever heard, you can only tell that's only gonna get weirder and slightly worse. She even makes this claim that we as humans were originally born vegan until our parents gave us meat without our consents, like, what? Yeah, I, I can't make this up. Let's just roll the clip. You don't need to imagine it. You were born vegan. We all were. Drinking our mother's milk means we were still vegan. We only became non-vegan when all our parents started giving us animal products without our consent. So, that was another weird statement from this woman, you can't make it up, but it gets even weirder. If anything, worse, like I mentioned previously, but now, she's even compared eating anything remotely meat-related to slavery. What is this? Hey. For fun, I went to your profile and noticed that you have dark skin. Yeah, I don't think that's what you're supposed to say when you start off a new TikTok. Maybe you call yourself black. Do you know what I did when George Floyd died? I bawled my eyes out. I cried like crazy. Do you know how many Black Lives Matter protests I've been to? Do you know how your ancestors were treated? Enslaved, raped, and murdered? Do you not know what they do to the animals right now in the industry? Not trying to be rude or anything, but I don't think that you're supposed to say that in general. Especially when making such comparisons that shouldn't even go together like that. It would be great, even if you're not saving the animals, and if you don't give a shit about anyone but yourself, you at least don't make it worse for people like me who are trying. Honestly, that's just racist, and I'm not having any of this. Literally, not all vegans and vegetarians are like this in general, just so you guys know. And what makes me feel terrible about this whole thing is that she even made her dog, yes, she has a dog, go vegan. She made her dog go vegan. Hold on, let me see this. This honestly makes me feel terrible for that poor dog, because dogs are literally supposed to have meat as an essential part of their diet. They need it to survive, and seeing this right here, I don't know if you guys can stomach this or not, but I genuinely feel angry that she's gotten away with this. <sighs> oh my goodness. 
You know how sad that dog must be right now? But it only gets worse. Okay, but enough of that weird stuff. Let's just get on to the more modern controversies that season. So, if you don't know, there's a Minecraft Twitch streamer slash YouTuber known as Tommy in it, and he's released a funny TikTok video of himself being surrounded by girls at his college, which, personally, I think was kind of funny at the time, though, but... Then there's also that vegan teacher, and, well, she just does this. I'm at college and surrounded by women. Don't be scared, Tommy. Just follow that meat teacher, Miss Tofu. She'll help you find a nice vegan girl who will teach you what to do. Personally, she had no business making such a weird duet with Tommy in it, which caused the Civil War to break on tick- No, I'm just kidding with you. I'm just kidding about the war, but a lot of people were really upset, and believe me. And she also fires back his fans with this video. Tommy in it fans, what the fuck is the matter with you guys? Now, these are one of those moments where I wasn't able to find the original video off of, like, YouTube or actual TikTok, if I'm gonna be honest with you, though, but... This was only from like a small little download of it though, like all this other stuff's really hard to find, but just letting you guys know, yeah, that's basically the first part of it though. The other parts you can watch on other people's channels though, but let's get right back into it. Truth be told, it's been ages since I've seen a flame war arise on TikTok, but it was interesting for me and a few other people to watch, but the only thing I can say was that it really wasn't needed. By that, I mean her first TikTok on Tommy in it, and so we all start seeing more of the crazy come out when she starts doing it more at what I would call a creepy rate, because that many duets on some teenager's TikTok ain't creepy at all unless it's supposed to be the theme, which is complete. Oh, but yeah, it was very creepy indeed, and this is what I mean. I'm not very strong. Of course you're strong, Tommy. If I'm brave enough to watch Earthlings.com and then to become vegan, so are you. Hello, TikTok. I'm out in the dark. You don't have to be in the dark anymore, Tommy. Just Google WatchDominion.com and you will see the light. Now, Tommy Innit actually has responded to this at one point in a little of his, one of his streams, actually, though, but he has kept it to a little bit of a minimum, if you know what I mean, because... He didn't practically call her out or anything else like this, though. I mean, you can practically hear it when he tells you. This is one of those times where I should try and run by someone else if I'm allowed to go on about how much I hate vegetarians. Truth be told, I may need to see a professional after this, but to be honest, it gets worse. So many others in the community, like Inab, made a video talking about the whole situation, and that vegan teacher fired back at him. And strangely, she even made shots at his girlfriend. I'll link I never's response down below, and I do have one final thing to say to that vegan teacher. Your methods of getting people to go vegan are not good, it gives vegans a terrible name, and a majority of your weird TikToks that I've seen online, it displays what looks to be more like you trying to bully people into going vegan. But on that note, I'm out, and well, trying to score a burger at Wendy's, so peace.